welcome back to my channel so i don't know if i should call today day two or day one but let me call it day two since we did some stuff yesterday so welcome to day two of jordan and day two of the holiday should I say day two of Jordan? No. Welcome to day two of the holiday. So today we're going to go on a little bit of a tour at 7.30. Right now it's like 6.45. We were supposed to go, wake up early to go eat, but clearly that didn't happen. Maybe we can still go eat. Che, do you feel like you want to go eat? Uh, not really, but I need my energy. So we've arrived at the destination so we're apparently going to be seeing the seven mountains or something i actually really don't know but this is where we are very ancient you excited huh wow a selfie game is a very serious game are you excited it's cool it's cool Umkais. Or it has the old name Chidara. And what's this place known for? Uh, it was one of the Roman cities. It was uh, one of the Decapolis. What? Decapolis it means in the Greek language 10 cities. The city was famous because of uh, having the panoramic view of the Sea of Galilee. Well, it's a very good place to retire. Yes, for yourself. I'm far from retiring. <laughs> you can come and start your career here. <laughs> what I like here, it actually is bringing the Bible into life. Mm. You know, it's unbelievable when he says sure. this is where Jesus oh, cast oh, the oh, demons oh, out of the people and like throw right them here. into the pigs, like right here. Mm -hmm. It feels so unreal, sure. you know. Yeah, oh. yeah, I'm, I'm actually enjoying this place. So you can it. come and retire here then. No, then you'd be close to the to Jesus and the Bible even more. <laughs> you can go dip in the Sea of Galilee. Yo, I can't believe that I saw the Sea of Galilee today <laughs> and Israel, even though I did not in Syria. Oh, wow. So we are in the church where, or in the area rather, where Jesus and Mary came to seek refuge um, when King Herod was trying to kill them. So actually this is the area that they were in. And what, so what's interesting, because we're in church right now, is that in this church they have various images of Jesus. And some of them are white, some of them are black, or let me say brown skinned. And it's so very interesting because if you look over here, we have a brown skinned There is white. And up there, as you can see, is white as well. Mother Mary painted. She looks whitish, but she could be very much brown. This is the statue that they saw blink, and it cried tears of blood. These are the tears that it cried. So apparently people walked in, the nuns walked in. And one of them peeped her blink, and there were blood, tears. And supposedly the blood was tested, and it was human blood. Special for you. Take with you. Take with you. Oh, uh, what is it? Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Oh, it's kind of hard. Thank you. So guys, it is lunchtime and we are at Artemis restaurant, which is a very traditional restaurant. And quite frankly, I have no idea what I'm eating, but I'm gonna eat anyway. So let me show you guys my plate. Like I don't know anything except for chicken and rice and coleslaw. Oh, that's, that white stuff is beef right there, though. This is uh, the map of the archaeological park of uh, Jirash. The city was called Jirasa during the uh, old days, and it was one of the uh, Decapolis. Decapolis, it means the Greek, uh, the Greek language, uh, ten cities, and that was a self-standing union between Roman uh, cities to the north of Jordan, 
from Amman to Damascus in Syria and Bethsheen in Israel. guys welcome to day two today we are still in Jordan we're gonna be doing more sightseeing and we're also gonna be moving to a new hotel hopefully with better Wi-Fi so they do this thing right where they give you bad Wi-Fi in order to urge you to buy complete no no premium Wi-Fi which is gonna be like the standard like you know good Wi-Fi so like I was upset because on Wednesday I couldn't post my YouTube video. It wasn't working because the, the, the Wi-Fi was so bad, you know, and basically I decided to take a break for the holiday. Anyway, so um, yeah, today's day two and we're going to be going for breakfast just now and more sightseeing. So let's go, guys. Hi guys, so we are at the first stop and it is called Mount Nabal and basically this was the last leg before the Israelites reached their holy land. This is also the area where Moses died and no one knows exactly where his tomb is but they do know that this is the area where he died. Yeah, the faces on this Those were thing. People who were mentioned in the Holy Bible thing about story, their stories like Abraham, Jacob, Elijah. So people who were mentioned in the Bible, so you can just have uh, some significant about their stories. And uh, this this monument, it's really a mix uh, of different influences, different uh, backgrounds. Like we, from the beginning, it looks like a face, and that should be the face of Moses. From this side it looks like a book and we can see people who were mentioned in the Holy Bible and we can see the back side of the monument there you can see different palms like yeah big one then a small one then even tiny yeah so the big one it's for a man second one for a lady and the last thing it's for a child the meaning it's uh, that the Holy Bible is not specific for a certain uh, gender or a certain age yeah anyone can read and get uh, really benefits from the Holy Bible Where I'm standing now, the whole area is called Mount Nebo. This is where Moses died, but nobody found Moses' body. And this is the statue of the snake that Moses made after being instructed by God to make it. This happened after the Israelites were complaining, Moses, why did you take us out of Egypt? Moses, did you bring us here to die? Moses this, Moses that, Moses this, Moses that. Then they went to... Um, when, so God released the snakes, actually, to bite them as punishment of complaining, for complaining, I mean. Then they went to Moses to complain again. Moses, the snakes are biting us. Then after that, God asked Moses to make this statue so that should a person be bitten by a snake, then when they look up to this statue, then they should be healed. They got healed. They didn't die from the snake bite. So this is what it's all about. Hi guys, we are now at the place, well, where we can get almost a perfect view. Okay, the sun is not really trying to be my friend. Uh, let me see. Okay, where we can almost get a perfect view of where John the Baptist was beheaded and where King Herod's castle was. So if you look over there, man, it's dank here. It's dank, dank. Like, it's dank. Oh my gosh. So y'all see those two pillars up there? Right there is where King Herod's castle was, and that's where John the Baptist got beheaded. Look at that one little house at the top there. Tell me you don't think Eustace, Eustace Bang, and what's his wife's name? From Courage the Cowardly Dog. Tell me you don't think that's where they lived in the middle of nowhere, because, well, yes, Miriam and Eustace Bang and Courage, right? Anyway, peep this amazing view, guys. Amazing, amazing. Amazing. 